Tracy, obviously, not the result you wanted, but did you get the performance that you wanted from your side? No, definitely not. And um, I've just been talking to Jeeva about that. Um, I think we just punish ourselves. I think there were times in that game, particularly in that first quarter, where we had numerous amounts of possession um, and we just didn't capitalise on that. If we look, we had six missed shots, um, offside footwork, and um, and we cannot just put that pressure on our defenders. And you know, you could say I don't want to make changes in a game, and I don't want to make changes. But there were times in that game we just had to make changes just because of the effect that New Zealand were having on us. Did those changes come soon enough? Or was the impact that Sonia had on Maria two times through off again? I think so. I think um, I think our major problem was we weren't able to convert it through the attacking um, goal third where. Obviously, New Zealand had done their own work. Um, obviously, Sonia made an impact, but if we look at actually the quarter scores, the changes actually made a difference, but the team that actually made, stayed on that court didn't actually were able to maintain it, and that, I think that was one of the major problems. You haven't obviously been working with this squad very long. What have you learned, not just about the squad, but about yourself as a coach? Um, I think it has been challenging. I think um, to come into a World Cup without that four-year build-up is very, very difficult. I think understanding your players, knowing how they work, cementing the way you want you want them to play is obviously difficult. I'm not going to lie, these, these players have really backed me all the way, but there is obviously some misunderstandings between me and the group, and obviously that is something that obviously coming into, in, into a pressure situation, that's where you fall down. So, you know, I'm not putting the pressure on the players on court, I'm also putting the pressure on myself as well that, you know, did we do a job? We did the best job we could in the short space of time we had. Um, I, don't, I, would, I never give them massive expectations. We just said we want to perform as an England group going into this competition. Um, obviously, we had to have um, a strategy and a, a, a way to play that we all believed in. Um, obviously, with the direction, I obviously started with one group. Then more players come into the mix, and then more players come into the mix, obviously, as the competition in the ANZ was finishing. So, you know, we've obviously been trying to keep them on task and get them on task quite quickly. Um, but obviously from that we've obviously had numerous injuries and we've had to manage them as well so um, I think it has been a little bit of a catch up but there's no, um, that is definitely not to blame in all this um, we had an England group who took to the court who had the ability to perform and it was just again our basic errors which has let us down in the past Yeah, I think we're governed by the commercial aspect of um, and the me and obviously the media and when the prime time telly is. So while netball, particularly in England, is quite a low key sport, I think we are gauged by where that particular competition lies. We obviously we want a media following um, and obviously a commercial following. So I think that will be completely out of our control. Looking at the next four year cycle, what we can do is possibly support it domestically and look at how we can prep our players best going into these competitions. GB, you've experienced obviously playing with, with the group around you previously too. What do you see the difference from the Commonwealth Games? Do you feel you've grown as a squad and this potential, can it continue? I think so, and I think going back to what Tracy said, yes, she's been with us for a short time, but she came in and made it very clear what the structures were, what our England way was going to be. So definitely the players that came back and filtered in, there was a clear, a clear purpose of what we wanted to do going forward, and it didn't matter what player was out on court or in, in the training facility, we were able to execute and do what we needed to do, and I think that's where we've fallen short this time. We haven't executed our clear structures and, and gone back to basics and knowing what we had to do as a team. Definitely last year, obviously only losing to New Zealand and Australia by one goal, we were up there, we were in it. But today and through this tournament, we've had really poor starts and we've been in that chase mode. So I think we still had the calibre of players to push these teams and even beat these teams, but we haven't given ourselves a chance with the start that we've put out on court. You've had the disappointment before of having to play the next day in a bronze medal match, which no one even wants to really do. Are you confident this time you can approach it maybe in a different way? Yeah, confidence has to be there. We're an experienced group. Um, we've learnt from... I guess the heartache of last year and probably in the emotional roller coaster that we went through last year was that we were in those winning positions and then lost it. This time we've been fighting for it, so we've still got that hunger there and it's just making sure that we go out and we have a good start tomorrow and we're not in that chase mode. Are you saying it's a little bit, you know, 
were you read at the moment is easier to swallow than we were this time last year? By no means is it easier to swallow, <laughs> um, especially if you're a player like myself and we've got a few in the team that have been around for, for several Commonwealth Games and World Championships. At the moment, I'm still digesting it all. The fact that we've missed out on the opportunity. At the end of the day, we came here to make the grand final and give ourselves the best opportunity to go for gold. And we're not. And we're going to have to swallow that. And it's going to take a night's sleep. And we wake up tomorrow. And I think that's sport for you, that you have to get up and you have to go again. And the fact that there's still a medal on the table, we want to make sure that, that this group comes home with one. As well as your match tomorrow, there will obviously be the grand final that the Kiwis are going into. Um, how difficult do you think they will be to beat? Um, I think um, I think the Kiwis have really stepped up in this competition. I think the Australians, and we, we, we can't deny they've played um, England off the court, and that is res total respect to Y and Lisa for the work that they've done. Um, I do think that they got a much-needed win on Tuesday night um, and actually showed the, the weaknesses in the Australian side. So I do think, though, that Australia will be a different side to beat. Um, but um, if I was to put my own money on anyone, I just want a good competition and let's hope we go to um, extra time like we did. <laughs> We've done over the last few years. <laughs> Yeah, like Tracy said, I think it's going to be a tough contest out there. I don't think Australia will get burnt again. I think they probably would have learnt a lot of lessons from having played New Zealand in the pool games. Um, but you know what? New Zealand, when they're backs against the wall, they seem to pull it out and come out firing. So I think it's going to be a good contest. But the Aussies on their home ground, I think that they say that eighth player with the crowd in, involved, I think may get them over the line. Last question. I know you haven't had a chance to digest it yet, but is this failure? For me personally, Are you in the team? no. Um, I think what this group of players have been through over the last, um, what would say, four years um, is is a is an experience that no other team has been through, um, and possibly in sport that doesn't happen. What's happened to them over the last four years? Um, if we treat this as a failure, then I think we might as well hang our um, boots up now and never go forward. I think. We've got the World Cup now in 2019. Um, who knows what positions will be in place going into that um, competition but or what players will stay around. So it's about building on that. Obviously, I've had probably the massive tornado um, in respect to what is expected of me and I'm, I'll be in a far better position should I get the position going into a World Cup and obviously experience this environment and this group of players.